let me show you how to make this beautiful area rug. Using the crisscross puff stitch will look great no matter where you put it. You need two packages of yarn. This is the Bernard Maker Home Deck. It is a blend of cotton and nylon. The color is Paci uh, Pacifico Multicolor and a size 6.5 or 7 crochet hook. All right, let's start by making a chain. To do that, we're going to take a yarn, wrap it around our two fingers once, cross it in the back, take this part and tuck it through like that. Take your crochet hook, insert it, remove your fingers and pull. Now what you want to always control your tightness from here, so you always have to hang on to this part. You pick up your yarn and let's make some chain. To do a chain, you just yarn over and pull through. So one, two, three, four, five. Chain 46. And I'm going to add one more for my turnaround. So, so now what we're going to do is a single crochet all the way along here. Okay, so to do that, we're going to insert our crochet hooks into the second loop from the hook. So the hook is here, so this never counts. This is first and this is second. So we're going to go in here. We're going to yarn over. We're going to pull through. You should have two on. We're going to yarn over. We're going to pull through all two. So that's called a single crochet for those who don't know it. So keep doing that till the end of the row. So insert into the next loop, yarn over, pull through, shove two on, yarn over, pull through two. So I've come to the end of the row. I've got one more stitch to get here. There it is. So I'm going to take my tail and I'm just going to pull it. It kind of tightens it. Turn my work over and we're going to chain two. So one, two. So we're going to do a crisscross puff for this. So normally you never crochet into the first one because the first little V here, the post takes it. So normal crochet starts always in the second. But because we're doing a crisscross and we're going to double back, we're going to start with this one, the third one. So if you actually count, you'll see this one is the first, second, third. So what you're going to do is you want to insert your crochet hook underneath the V, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over insert into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through, you should have four on, yarn over, insert your crochet hook, yarn over and pull through. That'll give you a total of six on your crochet hook. Now yarn over and pull through all of them. And sometimes it's hard, so you can do it in stages if you want, but you got to get through there. Then you're going to yarn over and you're going to chain one. And that completes our puff stitch. If you're repeating pattern, skip one, go into the next one, and there's no yarning over. You're just going to simply insert your crochet hook. You're going to yarn over, you're going to pull through, two on. Now you're going to yarn over into the same V, yarn over, pull through. You should have four on. Yarn over into the same V, Yarn over, pull through. So we're going in there three times for a total. It gives us six loops. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all of them. And you're going to yarn over and pull through the top. It's called chain one. That's okay. Skipping the next one into this one. And skipping this one, going underneath the V. Yarning over, pulling through. Two on. Yarning over, going into the same loop, yarning over, pulling through, four on, yarning over, into the same loop, yarning over, pulling through, six on, yarning over, and pulling through all of them. And then we chain one, so we yarn over and pull through. And that completes our stitch. Continuing, this is going to be a repeating pattern. You're going to skip one V and go into the second V. So we're going to go under the second V, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, insert into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through. You should have four on. Yarn over, into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through. You should have six on now. So you're going to yarn over and pull through all. And 
twice. That's okay. Then you're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through to complete your stitch. So go ahead and do your puff stitch all the way to the end of the row and I'll meet you there. So when you come near the end, you'll see there's a little stitch. You're going to yarn over and you're going to insert your crochet hook. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through. You should have three on. So yarn over and pull through all three. Always do it at the end of your row because you should have one stitch left. It looks like a post and it is a post but you got to get in there to complete the row. Okay, so turn your work around. We're going to chain two, one, two. And now if you look at this, you'll see that this forms part of a post so we don't go in here. Here we have a little puff but the run right next to it in between we have no puff. So we're going to have to go in here and this is where we're going to have to put in our puffs. Okay, so let's do our puff stitch in here. So insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through, just like we've been doing it. Yarn over into the same stitch, pull through, four on, yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, six on, yarn over and pull through all and chain one. So that starts to build the second row. And you see there's a puff here and a puff here and nothing in here. So if you look at this, you'll see that this is the two V's that are joining them together. Okay, so you want to go in here. So that's where we want to put in our next puff. So of course under the V, we do our stitch. We see our next puff is here, so we want to go just under there. So you're going to keep doing that till the end of the row. So I am nearing the row. I just wanted to show you how it's going to look like. So you can have your puff, and you know this is your last puff. So let's go in there and let's do our stitch. Okay, so that's our stitch and uh, as you see here this was our chain two and that's why you always have to put in a half double crochet in here to do a half double crochet yarn over insert your crochet hook yarn over pull through three on yarn over pull through all three okay so that's how you always finish every row this is a repeating pattern Turn over, chain two, so one, two, and look at the puff, first puff. So you're always going to go right after the first puff. Okay, so there, so you're going to go in here. So you're going to carry on and do this into every stitch in between the puffs all the way to the end. And then you're going to do a half double crochet at the end, turn your work around, chain two, and carry on just under the first puff until you reach your desired length or height, whichever way you want to call it. As we're crocheting, at some point we're going to run out of our yarn and it's time to change yarn. Always change yarn at the end of your row. So to do that, you're going to do your normal stitch, which is I do my yarn over and insert here. I'm going to hook this and pull through. So now I have three on. So now normally I would just yarn over and pull through all three, but I'm not. I'm going to take my new yarn, pinch a little tail like that, insert my crochet hook into the eye and pull through all three. So now I've cast it on my old one, my new one and my old one and my new one, the tails are right here. So I'm going to pull them tight. So I'm going to turn my work over to chain two and do my stitch normally like I would into my next uh, stitch. So you're going to carry on now and there you are, you're hooked up with the new yarn. So now I'm going to go back and see these two tail ends. I'm just going to put a little simple knot in it and very gently and I can do that only because I want it nice and snug. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to weave them in. 
after I finish my work. Carry on into the you reach the desired length of your area rug. So I reached the desired length of the rug that I want, so I'm going to finish off with a row of single crochet. To do that, we're just going to chain one and we're going to be uh, single crocheting underneath the V, starting with the second V. So not this one, this one. So of course, remember how we do single crochet, right? We go under the V, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So you want to keep doing that till the end of the row. So under the V, do your single crochet. And I'm coming to the end of the row. And I've got one last stitch in here to my chain. And then that finishes the row. And now all I have to do is cut this. And then yarn over, pull through, and tighten. And that completes our rug. Now all you have to do is take all the loose ends and weave them in. So the ones here, you can cut these ones shorter. They don't need to be so big. Okay, the way I weave them in, I simply go back along the line and I pull them through. And then when I do, just to secure it so it doesn't come, I go this way once. So I will go find a little one underneath here to get my crochet in and I'll pull it through. And there's the finished product. And of course a place for my kitty. 